To all my Christian and non-Christian brothers and sisters watching this video, please, I encourage you to watch the whole video before commenting. And please, no trolling. If you want to have a serious discussion in the comments, we'll have a serious discussion. But if you're going to act like a kid and start trolling, I'm going to delete your comments. Um, by the way, um, before I get into my argument, um, I want to remind you that um, I used to be an atheist. So before you call me a narrow-minded Christian, um, I once... I once was in your position and I looked at the arguments, I looked at the debates and the Lord brought me to the truth of Christianity. So here it goes and I hope that this video gives you a better perspective. So some people say that there is too much evil in the world so God does not exist. But this argument is so flawed, just think about it for a moment. If there are evil things in this world, then there are also good things in this world. If there are good things, then there are moral laws by which we humans differentiate between good and evil. The moral laws give us a point of reference. So without a moral law giver, God, who is God, we can't say that there are moral laws. If there are no moral laws, there's no, if there's no moral law giver, then there's no moral law. If there's no moral law, then there's no good. And if there's no good, then there is no evil. You see what I'm getting at here? So if God does not exist, you can't differentiate between good and evil. Some people will say that we humans can decide between good and evil. We don't need God's standards. To, sem to them, I say this. If a Adolf Hitler convinced the world that killing all the Jews is a good thing, then by your standards and by your arguments, killing all the Jews would be a good thing because this comes down to um, a humans differentiating between good and evil and humans deciding what is good and evil. Without God, there is no good and there, there are no moral laws. So... Some atheists will try to overcome this principle by saying that there are no such things are good and evil. And to me, this is so hypocritical because first they say that God doesn't exist because there is evil in this world. Then they say evil doesn't exist. So if evil doesn't exist, why are you blaming God for all the evil? Because you don't even believe that evil exists. So if atheists agree that moral law moral absolutes exist and they must also agree that God exists because without God we humans cannot make up our own moral absolutes. If it is really survival of the fittest and if evolution is really true, why are pe people calling murder evil? If you believe in the survival of the fittest, then a human being like Adolf Hitler killing all the blind, killing all, all the short, killing all the fat people through survival of the fittest, you can justify Hitler's actions. You see the problem that atheism creates? The 20th, the 20th century was the bloodiest century in the history of the world. Look at all the innocent people that Hitler and Joseph Stalin killed. If, the, if these people were Christian, these things would not have happened. Period. Period. And don't bring up some argument, oh, Christianity a thousand years ago started this war. Just because some greedy king started a war um, out of his love for money and out of his greed wanting to conquer more lands, you can't blame that on Christianity. Christianity does not teach to um, kill whoever whoever is not a Christian. Christianity is about love, forgiveness, and peace. So when faced with the problem of moral laws, some atheists will say that there are no moral laws. If you ask them if there are no moral laws, is it okay to drive over an innocent person with your car just for fun? They are forced to say that it is not okay, but it is not evil because there are no moral laws. You see what atheism does? It completely changes the human mentality to a point where a person cannot say that driving over innocent people is evil. They are forced to say it's not evil, but it is not okay. Imagine if you were in God's position looking down at this world. God sees all of our sins. He sees everything at the same time. Humans lie, humans cheat, humans steal, humans murder, and humans sin. Breaking God's law. Then expect God to solve our problems? The world is turning its hatred towards God. People are blaspheming God. And then people are saying, why doesn't God solve our problems? Have you prayed to God that he solve your problems? Have you prayed for God's assistance? Personally, I can say I prayed and God did solve my problems. And he blessed me. So don't accuse God and attack him in the faith. And then say, God doesn't help us. People blame God when an airplane crash lands in the ocean and kills all the passengers. This is so hypocritical because when a human being has a choice to save, a to, to save a life or not, when it comes to aborting a baby or not, they might choose to abort. So before you blame God for innocent people dying, make sure you're not supporting the deaths of innocent, defenseless, and unborn babies. 
Don't curse God and then blame him for all the problems of this world. Maybe you are the problem of the world. Maybe we are, we, all of our sins, we humans do. Maybe that is the problem of the world. Also, if you're an atheist, please don't attack the faith. How much worse is it going to be for you on Judgment Day if you spent your time mocking God, mocking Christians, and encouraging other people to give up their faith in God? How much worse is it going to be for you? Atheists claim that this life is all we get, but what do you see some of them doing? They're on YouTube all day attacking Christians and making fun of Christians and um, mocking God. If, th if this life is all you're going to get, don't you have better things to do than mock God who you don't believe in? You see where I'm getting at here? Finally, I encourage you, if you're skeptical about the Bible, look into the accuracy of Bible prophecy. Through Bible prophecy, you can prove that God has his fingerprints all over the Bible. You can watch my videos on this topic or you can watch somebody else's video on Bible prophecy. As long as you watch it, that's all that matters. And remember, thousands of years ago, the Bible prophesied that in the future, humans are going to deny that God created the heavens and the earth. And with the whole Big Bang, Big Bang Theory and evolution, this prophecy has been fulfilled. So think about it. How, how crazy is that? The Bible said in the future, people are going to deny that God created everything. And thousands of years ago, when the Bible was written, people could not look into the future that far ahead without God. If, if you went thousand, thousands of years ago and, and you told someone, hey, you know what? In the future, people are going to stop saying that God created, a, created the heavens and the earth. That person who you're talking to thousands of years ago would have said, you're mad. He would have said, you're crazy. So, and also remember, if you believe in the Big Bang or if you believe in evolution, don't let that drive you away from the faith. A lot of Christians believe in both theories and they still hold strong to the faith. And the Big Bang and evolution, it... It, it in no way, shape, or form disproves the existence of God. So don't say God doesn't exist because evolution is true. Don't say God doesn't exist because the Big Bang is true. Um, also, if you don't believe in the supernatural, watch my testimonies of demonic encounters. I, I'll have it linked in the description box of this video. And also, to all my Christians out there, in the bottom of this video, um, I have a message about the end times. Please spread that message if you have not done so already. If you're going to print it out, give it to someone. If you're going to copy paste it on Facebook, whatever. Whatever is going to get the word across. If you're going to use that message, if you're going to use a different message to warn people about the end times, as long as you warn the people, that's all that matters. Thanks for listening. God bless and all glory to God.